Good day everyone. Today, I will share with you in how the pipe water flow works in this system. Let's take a look once again. Let's activate the pumps. As you can see, the water goes up. And it looks amazing how the water flows inside the pipe. The ideas, just all started in my imagination until it became possible. Let's turn on the second pump, and try to guess how it works. Let's take a look how the HMI and PLC program works on the third pump. Let me press the view button to see the timer current value of the third pump. This is the ladder diagram of the pipe water flow animation of motor pump number 3. When the pump is on, time on delay timer is also on. ET or the current time value, 1 second is equivalent of 1000 milliseconds. But using this division instruction block, I divide ET by 10 to make the digit smaller on the HMI screen. 7 seconds is now equivalent to 700 milliseconds on the HMI after using the division instruction block. Let's return back to our main topic in how the pipe water flow works in this system. Let's proceed on the next screen, so that we can focus only on the third pump. Let's activate the pump. Try to focus on the green pipes above. As you can see, the green pipes appear one by one. In a single pump, approximately there are 50 to 60 green pipes from top to bottom. The current time value of the timer makes the green pipe visible. The visibility of the green pipes it depends on the range you assigned. Let's restart again the pump and observe how it works. I will show you an example. Let's check the actual parameter range setting of the pipes. This pipe will be visible from 100 to 700 with the equivalent value of 1 second to 7 seconds. Let's check the other pipes. This will be visible from 1.3 to 7 seconds. Will be visible from 1.5 to 7 seconds. Will be visible from 1.7 to 7 seconds. Will be visible from 1.9 to 7 seconds. And will be visible from 2 seconds to 7 seconds. And that is how the pipe water flow works in this system. Different pipes color are available in the toolbox. Just click the WinCC graphic folder. Click equipment folder, automation folder, then pipes folder. As you can see, different pipes and colors are available here. I will show you an example for you to have an idea. This elbow is located here. Click the graphic. Then drag and drop to the working area. You can resize the graphic if you want to. Let's set a visibility process tag and process range of this elbow. Now switch to the animations tab. To create animation display, click add new animation. In the displayed dialog box. Select visibility and click OK button when done. Let's copy the process tag from the other green pipes. Let's set the range from 320 to 700. In our setting, when the water pipe M3 tag starts processing, this elbow will be visible from 3.2 seconds to 7 seconds. Let's save the project and start the simulation. Let's press this button to activate the pump. Try to observe the green elbow that we inserted earlier. It's perfect. When the motor turns off, green pipes will disappear. By using this move instruction block. The zero value will the make the green pipe disappear. Not operation instruction is used to invert the signal state of the RLO or result of logic operation. Meaning the result of logic operation here. Is opposite here. The visibility process tag of all the green pipes here with the name tag water pipe M3 was set up or established to the global data block 200 in the CPU of the PLC. Water pipe M3 tag was linked here and also here in this instruction block. Just a quick review. If you are not familiar where data block is used. Data blocks are used for storing user data. This blocks take up space in the user memory, similar to a memory drive that also used for data storage. 
Data block it contain variable data such as numeric values that is used in the user program. The user program can access the data in this data block, with 1 bit boolean, 8 bits byte, or 8 bits short integers, 16 bits word, or 16 bits integers, 32 bits double word, or 32 bits double integers, 32 bits real, and 64 bits L real. These are the common data types in TIA portal using the latest devices like S7 1500. Bit, byte, word, integer, double word, double integer, and real are the most commonly used data types in PLC programming that you should know. These are the examples of data block addresses when accessing this data in the CPU. You can use global data block in different ways, you can access PLC organization block, function, and function block. All of my HMI process tag in this system was established in the global data block. The standard address of the global data block it is often used in connection between CPU and HMI, DB addresses are also accessible by other well-known brands. You can also establish your connection to the global PLC tags in the CPU if you want to, you can use this tag in connection with step 7 CPUs and somatic HMI. Just ignore the other tags, we will only focus on the pipe water flow tags in the global data block 200. This is the ladder diagram of the pipe water flow animation in motor pump number 1. Pipe water flow animation of motor pump number 2. And pipe water flow animation of motor pump number 3. That is how the pipe water flow works in this system. I hope you learn something new today. Thank you for watching.